the Mobile World Conference 2018 this year unveiled some pretty crazy devices. We saw foldable phones from Huawei and Samsung. We saw Samsung's new flagship devices and some other cool devices. And a lot of other telecommunication companies releasing their new phones. But what we didn't expect was to see Energizer. Yes, Energizer the bunny, you know, the bunny that never stops. They released a flagship phone that never stops that yeah pretty much never stops it has an 18,000 milliamp hour battery the xs max just for comparison's sake has just under a 3200 milliamp hour battery so that's about five times more than the iphone xs max which lasts what two days yeah about two days on standard use so energizer or avenir telecom is stating that their phone this new it's called the Power Max P18K Pop. I'll get to why it's called Pop in a second, but they're saying that's gonna last for an entire week of regular use or 48 hours of video playback. No, that's pretty cool. So it's like a phone that you'd take to the wilderness with you? I guess so. If you never want to have to worry about charging your phone. Now, one thing I'm concerned about is how long does it take to charge that massive battery? So just like any external power bank, it's gonna take quite a bit. And they're saying, especially since it's 18,000 milliamp hour batteries, they're saying it's gonna take about eight hours to fully charge, but they have a fast charging capable option. Eight hours? I, I guess if you're going to sleep and you plug it in and you leave it in overnight, it should be fine. And then you get a week. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. To have something this big, this large of a battery, how big do you think this is? Like what's, what's in millimeters? What do you think the size is? Oh, I don't know, it's probably like, four times this. It wasn't actually specified the exact dimensions, but it is between 30 and 40 millimeters. That's about 3.5 iPhones. So you're That's pretty close. Specific. That is <laughs> massive. 3.5 of those. Phone. Now, what is the display like? It's got 6.2 inches of LCD display. So not OLED, okay. LCD. Yeah, maybe that helps with the power consumption. Likely. It also has five cameras, which is pretty impressive. Three on the back, two on the front. Now, if you actually look at the phone, you don't actually see the front facing cameras. And that's because this is where you get the pop from. The two cameras actually pop out of the top. It's like, oh, a, it's like a, a mechanism okay. that pops out. It's one of those mechanical phones. Yes. Surprisingly though, it has a 16 megapixel camera on the front, okay. along with a two megapixel. Okay, so the two megapixels is just for depth sensing. Yes, exactly. Got it. Then the rear camera has a 12 megapixel, a five megapixel, and then the two megapixel camera. So let's talk about some of the specs. What is the RAM? What is the storage? So it has six big gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Now compared to a lot of the devices that have been unveiled this year, mm -hmm. that doesn't seem like much. Like we've seen some with eight gigabytes, some even with 12 gigabytes, yeah. but six gigabytes is still a lot. It's still more than my phone right here. Yeah. The right, iPhone XS Max. The flagship iPhone. It only rocks three gigabytes. So to double that, that's pretty impressive. Now the storage is only 128 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Also compared to a lot of the devices that you see that have been unveiled over the last few weeks, it's not too much as we've seen some with a terabyte, but 128 gigabytes is still quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Nathan, what colors does it have? This is something I need to know. Does it come in red? It does not come in red. Ooh. And it has pretty basic colors. There's only two. Okay. And it's black and blue. That rhymes. Eh, okay. So we got a phone that has five cameras. It can last up to a week with an 18,000 milliamp hour battery. What is the cost going to be? They didn't specify, but just based on the specs and the size of the battery, I would probably say in the range of four to 500 American. Okay, that's not terrible. This could be like one of those emergency phones that you keep in your car. <laughs> that never dies. That <laughs> never dies, that you can always call someone with. Now there were a few concerning features with the phone. The first being some people at the conference, when you are first unveiling the phone, they get to use it. Mm -hmm. They were saying that the pop-up function of the selfie camera, that stopped working and they actually had to press the phone, the, the cameras down, which is, that is concerning. Another concern is a lot of them said that the phone is actually glitchy. Ooh. Even though it is rocking Android 9.0 Pi, the phone will be available or hopes to be available summer of this year, 2019, and hopefully they get all those bugs fixed. So we don't think this is like a flagship killer. This is sort of like a gimmick. It's, it's, it's a niche market phone. I would never have really expected you to purchase an Energizer phone. 
Kind of, like companies are known for a few things. And when they try to expand into others, it's gonna take them a while to catch up if they ever do. I would much rather purchase the Energizer like battery pack than an Energizer phone. That would make more sense. Well, that was our first look at the new Energizer Pop phone. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. And subscribe if you're new.